Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Call of Cthulhu. Now before I dive in, I'm going to go quickly refresh my memory on the controls because it's been about a week since I last played it. Oh, shadowy figures are appearing. It's all coming real. Right, so crouch is control, wait, so it's just crouch to sneak? Okay. And right mouse button to lean. So you got WASD, Control Shift. I mean, these are basically Skyrim controls. Uh, just like Kingdom Come Deliverance and Skyrim. It's almost as if someone decided these were a good load of controls to have. Uh, yeah, mouse with lights. It, so left click to shoot, right mouse button to lean. Those are the new ones that I need to be aware of. Right, so. I have a few things in mind that I want to bring up during this portion. So basically, I may have messed up slightly, uh, or rather significantly, depending on how you look at it. So I have taken some time to view someone else's footage of the game to see how things played out differently for them. In particular, I was interested about a few things, like if it was possible to completely fail to track the cultists down to the secret door. You know, things like that, right? And to see what their deductions were in regarding to the fire in the mansion, things like that, right? And basically, you know, they found some things I didn't find, I found some things they didn't find. That's great, okay? But they did find one rather important clue that I missed, and you know, I'm, I'm role-playing the character, and I'm trying to remember, you know, I'm playing what he's found, what he knows, but I am f going to find it very difficult to ignore this one clue that I missed. So that is a problem. Essentially, when Mr. Pierce was in the cell, uh, and, and all I could find to do was go back to bed and wait, there was something very important. This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. There was a long, very slender pipe up near the ceiling on the left-hand wall of the cell, um, looking outwards, and it had a number, like three or four small vents in it. Wait. What is going on here? And they were seeping out green gas into the cell. Which means that the staff here are definitely doing something nasty to the patients. Some kind of gradual mutation or or gaslighting, literal gaslighting, you know, or, or worse. And that, I, I, I'm very tempted to try and sneak back to the cell and see if I can find out that clue, if it's still there. And I think I shall. No, it was... Now, I am wanting to hug this side again. Oh! No, 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 he doesn't like enclosed spaces. And I really don't like the way these doors open both ways. Because normal hinges don't do that. So let's go back to our cell. I believe it was that one I just put. Nope. Yeah, pipe. <coughs> this foul gas again. Yeah, see, this was the pipe. I mean, that, that's bad, right? That is not a good thing to do to your patients in a mental institution. 
if you care about their well-being. I mean, even if it's supposed to be some kind of sedative or keep them calm, it's still pretty damn bad. I'm not sure there's still a chap there guarding, but create a diversion. Obviously I'm going to create a diversion with a machine and I want to look for clues, but this is a Call of the Cthulhu game, you know, where essentially the mystery is a trap, right? The more you find out, the more mad you become. So... I really want to, but exactly what I need. Really? Okay. Locked. Of course it is. If I have to sneak up on someone and steal their keys, that will be tricky. If I walk. He does not okay, we're not going to go near him because if he notices us, he might rattle the bars and make a lot of. <laughs> okay, then. I almost got caught. Wow. Now, this over here looks important. So obviously I need to ignore it and go the other way. Oh, hello, we're back at the big machinery room, aren't we? Whoa, didn't mean to do that, wrong key. This leaning mechanic is really innovative. I've seen it in a few other games that I haven't played. Ooh, hello, this looks like some kind of library. The library, you say? The library, I say. Yeah, Goon Show's reference. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Goon Show. Anyway. Right. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. Yeah, but I could get a skill upgrade. So, let's keep on looking. Oh, hello. Dementia, self-inflicted wounds. A document attesting to the fact that Irene Sanders, wife of Francis Sanders, and her husband interned here after... Sorry. Irene Sanders, wife of Francis Sanders, had her husband interned after he show... he had shown grave signs of madness. Uh, in the county court of the... something of Massachusetts, for the county of Suffolk, you do know Suffolk's in England, right? You know, it's the South Folk. Literally, you, you got Norfolk, Suffolk, Essex, Wessex, and Sussex. Uh, you know, Essex for East, Sus East Saxons, Wessex, West Saxons, Sussex, South Saxons, and then Norfolk, the North Folk. And then there's Suffolk, which is like South of Norfolk, but North of the other three. Anyway, um, in the matter of the examination and commitment of Iawis Sanders. Yeah, man, this writing. Complaint. An Irene person. An insane person. To the Honourable Catalishn Wandel, County Judge of said county, the undersigned petitioner repeatedly. Sorry. Respectfully. Re no. Repeat fully represents and shows to your honour that Irene Sanders, householder of this county, that Francis Sanders is an something. Is that supposed to be insane person? And by the reason of hallucination is suffering from self harm insomnia and repeated violence and is a proper subject for confinement 
in an insane asylum of the state Riverside Institute. Wherefore your petitioner prays that you cause said Francis Sanders to be brought before you at such place as you may direct and due inquiry made well as, as he technically if I was English it would be due inquiry due inquiry made as prescribed by law concerning the matter alleged in this petition I Sanders right I will absolutely and uh, is there ever going to be anything on the back of one of these because I can only rotate left and right I can't rotate up and down and the fact that I can rotate every clue means I should be able to at so, that at some point rotating a clue will come in useful and it just has not yet at all. I could hide in here. I don't want to hide in here. Okay, nothing in there. Uh -huh. What have we got? Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Well, yes, we know that because we found the letters from the doctor in her house. However, it's useful to know. Sarah Hawkins was interned at Riverside for fits of insanity a while before her death. She wasn't at her first attempt with the fire at the mansion. Wait, what? She wasn't at her first attempt with the fire at the mansion. She, she wasn't having a fit of insanity or she wasn't at the Riverside Institute when she was at the fire in the mansion. That is really awkward. Anything on the back, nothing on the back. Let's sing the nothing on the back song. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy and a full shelf on cephalopods. Cephalopods are like, um, well, sea creatures who have their head inside a shell, like, um, like squid or something like that. Okay, nothing there. Anything on the desk? No. And of course, now that I've come in here and closed this door, it is all. We don't know where the guard is. But what we can do is close the door and hop down here into the machinery room again. So I am going to tinker with this machine at some point, but hold on. It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. That's okay. I don't know what an ammeter is. If I do go in here, what's this? This is bad. Interesting. It, it goes away. Vats of rotten flesh? An elaborate electrical system? Like a dumb pulp novel. Hey, congratulations, Mr. Detective. You now understand what Kfulu is like. <laughs> okay, so there's something hidden here that we can find. What's the connection between this meat and the electrical installation? Well, they're clearly... I'd say they're growing it. And it's coming from the shocks and nastiness they're getting out of the bodies of the people who they put in here and, and like suck life energy out of with their evil, evil machine of wickedness. Worse and worse. Is that an eye? Or does it? It's got no eye, iris, or pupil, but it really looks like an eye. So whatever it is, yeah, oh, that is really horrible looking with the spikes on the inside. That is not something you'd want to have attached to your body. 
Okay. Ah, oh, bloody saw. I mean, what would they use that for? That's for, like, sawing through bones and stuff. You wouldn't need that just for restraining someone in the chair. Now, I'm going to go outside and see if... Yeah, so it's definitely inside the cage here somewhere. Whatever it is. Is it to do with the machinery overhead? You know what? Lighter. Just in case it's something hidden in the dark. Huh. Well, I can't move around these pipes, so it won't be in the corners behind them. Could it be? Wait. Yeah, that's a bad sound. That's a... I mean, I know it's just from music, but it gave the impression of something bad going on. What on earth is it? That is either really bad texture issues or this is supposed to rotate or be separate. But it looks like it's single because it will join down there. If you could see, if I could put my mouse on the screen and show you, it would be so much easier. But you see that black thing there? That's like a, a weird hole in the metal um, that doesn't have edges that look like there's a hole in the metal. What on earth is here for us to find? Okay, no, that's just revolting. Oh. Is it this thing? That weird thing with a hole in the middle of the handle? Okay. Whatever it is, I'm just not seeing it yet. There is something here to interact with. I mean, I'm, I'm literally scouring the area. Now look, is there some way that one of these dangly things with a knobby bit on the end, or one of these uh, lenses can be used? I mean, this thing, this looks like a handle. This thing right here. Hmm. I'm being very dangerous standing up here in case anyone comes walking in, but they don't seem to come walking into this room when they're not using it. Please tell me it's not. Let's go sit on the plumbing operating thing. Mm, got no. All right. Yeah, I know it's just for music, but damn it. So, the question mark saying there's something hidden here but you can't find it, does the question mark mean I've got enough perception to find it? Or does the question mark mean if I have enough perception, I can find it? And it's here anyway. There is one rather... Oh, hello! Do the cops know what's going on? Police Department, City of Dark Water. Well, this is obviously bad. That could even be our police officer. So, yeah, our police officer friend, did you notice in the uh, hallucination? New clue stained badge. Right. He was acting much more confident than he used to. He used to be stammering and afraid. Yeah, well, not, not afraid, but kind of nervous. Let's, uh... Yeah, so we just got this. 
Uh, chapter 4. We really only got that. I suppose there wasn't much in Chapter 4. But yes. Come on. What is... What am I supposed to... Yes, here, look. Oh, right, yeah, those. Got it. Okay, so, spot hidden. Uh, an undiscovered object will not appear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Improving the skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spot. Uh, I don't know. So. <clears throat> I need to ponder the rate at which character points will be given. Oh, yes. Something else I wanted to bring up was. San uh, so. Blah. That next. I need to ponder the rate at which points will be given over the course of the game so that I can spend them wisely. We are nearly at. 20 medicine at the level 2 skill. That would be really nice. Uh, so I am going to try and find medical knowledge down here, but I suspect it won't be on this floor. Now. You. Yeah, you there. Come here. God, no. Doing there, but you don't seem to be friends with the nurses. I can help you. Help me, and I'll owe you one. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here, except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah, and in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Um... Is it the noise hmm. that disturbs you? No, it's the nightmares. We all have them here. That's what wakes us up. And afterwards, there's no way to get back to sleep. I mean, I, I want to agree. Uh... It's not fair to make a promise I can't keep, but I'm playing a detective in a kind of pulp fiction uh, horror kind of scenario, and this fellow, he is, um, he's insane and unreliable, so in theory, if I don't keep this promise, that's okay. If I can tinker with the machine, the guards will come running to the machine, if I tinker with him... I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. Okay, that's fine, but we don't know where the storage room is. Oh, we also... Oh, God, a cell. What is okay, there's bad stuff in that administration center. It has strength of oceans. Oh my god. Hello, you, guard. You appear to be sleeping. Can I... He literally just looked at me right then. And whatever happened, I am just getting away now. I mean, his job is to kind of catch me and... Man, he had to stand up to do that. He couldn't just, like, crouch and... Okay, let's see what we have over here. Because we have... Things over here that can be investigated as well. Danger. High voltage. First we touched. Go on, get it open, man. You can do this. Perfect. Oh, you did. Nice. Oh, that is really dark. But we can close the door and hide in here. Because no one expects us to be in here because they expect the door to be locked. And what can we find in here that will be of 
great interest. There's a claw hammer. I'm going to take the hammer and use the claws to deck a guard. I go, right, come on, you. I'll flip him well, have your throat out, you know. Now, that's a serious weapon, right? Ve Whoa! Oh, hello. A control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. Well, I know where this is going to go. Okay, so he's in there now, and we are in here. Okay, that white marker means he suspects my presence. If it becomes red, he is chasing me. And I had to go back and pause the previous video to get that information. I'll Hold go on. take a look. Hey! Oh man, what's your problem? Oh come on! You're gonna force me to redo the whole thing? Okay, I'll redo the whole thing. That's actually really nasty. Oh, wait. It's the... Yeah, okay, so that's not so bad then. So if I just pop over here, grab this thing. A control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. Head back. Going going through there, very dangerous, okay? Okay, so he's on his way back. And out of the room. So if I stay low, hug the wall. Okay, someone in there. This way. Who's there? Hey. Okay, okay. Yeah, so no sneaking around this one. There was something there to interact with though, so that was interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Sneaky peeky peeky sneaky. Hello. We're coming into your room to take a thing that we want. Yeah, we're just going to go right in here now. Control wheel to Grab mount our plumbing system. Hop back over here. And then sneak out. So is there some way that I can use the machinery to lure someone out of that central chamber and then get into that central chamber?
Oh man, he is just evil. Bad, 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 bad. So if I just go very soft. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, where in here will I find All right, yeah, we are not moving. Yeah, you just go back that way, mate. Go on. I'm going to slide in here and see if I can find anything, any sort of sleeping pills. This isn't going to be the right place. Okay. Well, he's gonna find me. You there? Surprise! <laughs> yeah. So what I think I want to do then is, well, this is slightly annoying because of the game's save point system, right? So if I go in here, close this door, hide, mind the sledgehammer. I don't want to trip over that. Are you coming, Mr. Guard? No. Great. So, yeah, because picking this up would be a really great time for the game to autosave. Control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. And it doesn't. So, I'm going to come back out here and try and find a way to force the game to save, because otherwise I'm going to have a very long episode, a very long upload time, and that is not fun, because there are other things in life you know. So I don't want to go down that way, really. However... Hello? And there is... Is there anything behind... No, I can't get behind that screen to check if there's anything there. So there's a door here. A hiding cabinet there. There's quite a lot of those. Hello! I'm Mr. Bean, you can't see me. So I'm imagining that fitting the wheel to some kind of machine would be a good way to force the game to save. Oh my god, that is... that red light? I mean, I've been in there and I haven't been able to find anything, so let's go take a look in here. And see the green what... gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. See what we can find. Oh, hello. Do it. This padlock is too complicated for me. Boo! It's no use. The padlock won't give. So I'm probably never going to be able to get in there now. Okay, well that is... I don't know why people like this grill flooring. It, it's just weird. Okay, nothing in there. Dr. Fuller. I have repaired your machine as best I can. However, the piping has been damaged and I fear the gas is escaping. I cannot do any more in such a short time. All I can do is warn you. If the equipment is put under too much pressure, there is a risk of explosion. Z. Allen, mechanic. Well, that is just the kind of thing we wanted to know when we found a control wheel for some machinery. So yeah, I'm imagining there's multiple options of escape. This valve controls the pressure. Yeah, yeah. 
It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. A duct. Okay, so basically I'm wanting to find something to break the chain and get in there. I also want to find this storage cabinet. If I go in here, will there be anything to look at? Obviously, with all this gas... Oh, hello. Now for the next step. Yep, yep, yep. All good, all good, all good. Game saved! Brilliant! I can end the episode! Wow! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. Next time I come back, I'll be sneaking around this asylum some more. Uh, just doing a little investigation, seeing if I can find the storage cabinet and the sleeping pills. But for now, because it's very cold tonight, I'm going to end the episode and just warm my hands. I hope you've all enjoyed this one, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll say bye-bye for now, and cheerio!